It's a story you will see only on 10 Tampa Bay. 10 Investigates gets answers from the Hillsborough County School Board. That's after our Emerald Morrow first uncovered a possible Sunshine Law violation surrounding the controversial vote to close Just Elementary in West Tampa. In our series, The Changing Face of Tampa, we show you the impact this has is in a rapidly redeveloping community. Good morning, Miss Gray. How you doing? How are you? Do you have a second to talk to us? No, not right now. I gotta get everything ready. It was almost time for this week's school board workshop to start in Hillsborough County, but we wanted to talk to longtime board member Lynn Gray about a few things not on the agenda. We just wanted to talk about the text message for Just Elementary School. To refresh your memory, last month the school board took a controversial vote to close Just Elementary School in West Tampa. And the superintendent's recommended recommendation passes. But 10 Investigates Uncovered Gray talked about her vote to board members during the meeting, a potential Sunshine Law violation. Through a public records request, we got this message Grace sent to other board members while heated discussion about the school was taking place. It reads, quote, I am done. My vote is yes. The um, texts were during a notice meeting, so that's that's fine. But what's what's unlawful about that is. Uh, that they're having private conversations about a vote. A vote with serious implications. Closing the school means busing students farther away, and the school's location along the Hillsborough River has raised concerns among some. The school is being closed to advance a city plan to redevelop the waterfront. So, was this text a violation of our state's sunshine laws, meant to keep government honest and transparent? We went to the school board's attorney. Can you tell me if this was a violation of the Sunshine Law? No, again, we would deal with this when there would be a challenge. And because there hasn't been a challenge, um, there's not much else to say about it. So we asked Ms. Gray one last time. This was a controversial vote. We know you were the swing vote, so people were upset also in finding out about the text message. Well, the vote was already uh, taken, so. And if we had another board meeting, the same thing would happen again. So. It's not clear what will happen next or if there will be any legal challenges, but we will keep asking questions until we get more answers. Emerald Morrow, 10 Investigates. To be clear, none of the other board members responded to board member Gray's text about the vote. We'll keep you posted on what happens next.